apply anything on my skin I always prep my skin this is a setting spray from city color and I'm just gonna spray that all over my face after that I use the city color illuminating cream I put this amount and I rub it first and then I just apply it or pat this on the area where I want some glow effect applying it on um, the t-zone area I also put like on the uh, lower or under my eyes because I want those area to just really you know brighten so yeah that's just the very easy um, strobing that you can add on when you apply your foundation it'll make a big difference and it just gives you that really radiant look then after that I go on with my my skin primer which is the Rummel then I'm just gonna use a brush Okay, so yeah, I mean you could see it already. The glow, it's very subtle. It's not too, you know, some of the some illuminating cream it leaves like a glittery effect, but this one is not. It's just very subtle. Next is I'm gonna apply my foundation. This is the Revlon Nearly Naked. Guess where I got this foundation? I got it at five, no, not five, but Dollar Tree. I have been using this lately, and this is in the shade Nutmeg. So sheer when you have, this is good for like an everyday foundation. It doesn't give you that heavy finish. So anyway, so I'm just gonna apply this foundation all over my face. And I'm using a buffing brush from Real Technique. Okay, so that's it for the foundation you guys um, if you notice the uh, the glowing or illuminating cream still see through and it still gives me that nice and um, like strobing look let's move on with setting your foundation and from city color and this is this this is the flawless finish mineral powder it's very light on your skin Now let's move on with the brow. I'm just gonna do the brow and I will be right back you guys, okay? Unfortunately, I lost or deleted the footage for this step. I applied a highlighter and a blush from Forever 21 and highlighter from Mary Luminizer The Bomb. Now let's move on with the eyes. First, I applied the Morocco shade on my lid using my blue puffer brush. And I'm also gonna apply that same shade on the lower lash, la lash line as my transition color. And then the next shade would be Glisten that would go on the center lid and also gonna apply it on the inner corner using my flat brush. And then for the outer corner, I used a deep plum shade again from Ambrezi palette and applying that with a blending brush and I'm gonna press that same shade on the lower lash line using my flat brush and I'm gonna blend it a bit but that's it and now for the waterline I use the NYX jumbo pencil in milk and then time for mascara I'm gonna curl my lashes and then I use a Maybelline uh, falsies mascara in waterproof um, on the upper and lower lashes now time for contour. I'm not going to contour my face. I'm just going to leave it as is. But I definitely contour my nose using a holo bronzer. Using a holo bronzer. And I use falsies from Ardell. I forget the name. And then now let's move on with the lips. And for the lipstick, first I use the Colourpop, my newbie uh, lipstick collection. And in, this, in the shade Midi. I love it. It's so pigmented. And it, on top of that, I applied my glaze lip paint from LA Girl. And this is in the shade Blushing. And that's it that's the final look I hope you guys like it if you don't know what strobing means now you have an idea it's just basically a intense highlighting or exaggerated highlighted um, face and that's it thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment and like thank you guys see you next time bye